Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about noses and how it actually can be drawn in different location on the face, different movement and different light sources and shadows. So simply when you know about the nose is, is it's in the middle of the face with one nostril on this side and one nostril on this side. And you know they'll come in like that. Okay, and that's enough uh, to understand there is a there's a nose in here. So let's start with the profile. So in the profile, you see just the side of the nose. Uh, let's say this is a this is a face from the side. This is the center center line, which is on the side, not in the center. And we cut this in half. That's where the eye is going to be here. The nose is start. So, it's one, two, three. Where the chin. So, what do you do? is just do this triangle shape. Okay, uh, what you do is you cut the corner of it. This sharp corner, make it like that. Remove this line and Remove this side. Now what you do is two shapes. This curved line and this one. This is a half here and a half here. And that will give you a very simple uh, nose. The nose has many planes, which now I'm going to explain what planes are. As you can see here, this is a plane. It's just one plane, one surface. It shows only light. It doesn't show shadow because it's a flat. That's what a plane is. It's a 2D but if we if we fold that like this now we have we have two planes this one and this one and there's a shadow here so two planes and if we do this how many planes do we have so many some facing the light, some away from the light. That's why we create. You hear about the planes a lot. That is uh, talking uh, when you draw, and they are important to understand which is facing the light and which is not, and that create the form itself. So now you see it's a, it's not a flat because there is a lot of reflection. There is a shadow here. There is a light here. There is a light here. There is a light here. And there's a shadow here. So this one that's facing the light, it will receive the light. And this one is away from it, so it's gonna show a shadow. Okay. Now for the for the nose, see this is a uh, from uh, from the side, which uh, light source is from here. There's a shadow for the nose also. If the light hits it, it, it will create a shadow here. Uh, this is a point of the nose. Uh, the point of the nose will receive the most light 
because it's in front. It's coming out of from the from the face. So, and if we cover this area as a shadow. cover it all and now this is is going to be darker because this is the right nostril uh, here we go again with the perspective if the nose move if the nose move to the left you don't see that portion as we explained This is from the front. But if this, this is the center. If this moves to the right or, or to the left, this area, you don't see it. So you're gonna short it. As you can see here. This one is it smaller than this one. And that would give the the movement that it's, the nose is moving to that side. And if you move it to this side, now this one will be smaller because you don't see it. It, it goes away. So the shadow and light will create the, the form itself. And uh, we explain that how, it, you know, the things are moving. We explained how the light uh, and shadow create the form itself. All right. Now with the Q-tip just uh, trying to uh, blend that line. And you kind of uh, blend it here to, to erase the texture, to remove the texture. Okay, now you can erase the edge here. So, Uh, this area here is shadow of the nose because the light comes this way. Darken it a little bit. Uh, you can add a little bit of the charcoal here. some some highlight so another one here this one where the eyes go and this, this area with the shadow side and the mustache area you should just uh, 
and blend that line. Eyes, eyes are here. Then you can erase, erase this. Okay, as you see, and the shadow, there's a darker shadow here. It's very quick and simple things. And I can see that that's the light of the nose is wider and you can get it now with the with the highlight in the middle and there's a highlight here so You see here, so this is the, like a simple structure of the nose, just because of the shadow with it, it will help it to form. All right, let's explain the planes now for the nose. start the nose comes in here there's that's a curve and then that's a curve here to another it's all soft transitioning and the same thing from the this side well, there is a fold and a curve to this way and then curve curve to this way and the same thing it goes this is a flat area and goes around and it goes like that so understanding the concept of planes is important now there's a curve goes in and it goes out that's for the nostril same thing here there's a curve from here to here so I know it's a it's a lot to take in, but this is how when the light comes from this side, this part here will be away from light. And also this side because you see this is higher. That will cover it too. This one, the nostril already dark because it's going in. Now, how I understand the highlight? There's a highlight will be here because it's a higher area, and highlight is here, and highlight here, and here. And if I erase all these marks now we go to you know shade so there's no line under here I'm just trying to explain it natural this is a natural you will have a darker shadow here from this fold okay. 
Okay. And let me erase the highlight area. Now, if you if you want to create the highlight, this should be gray, so you can see the the highlight itself. So how we do gray? So you just scrape some charcoal and use your Q-tip and just add it here. Take some. Okay, now when you add the highlight, the will show. And you erase on the top here. You can erase on the side, but the concept is, I'm trying to explain, is this is the tip of the nose itself, here, and this is where the left nostril, nostril ends. And there were, you know, the bone for the nose is. So just try and simply just show it to you. You don't need to understand like how the, the anatomy of it, but in a simple way, make it this smaller this is the fulcrum and then you know the mouth goes in here but I try to show you that's when the light hits this one Uh, you can see there's a shadow area and the transition from here it depends on the curve of the of the nose it can be s smooth or sharp if it, if the nose moved to the right side more it probably will create that's like a, a harsher line than this using charcoal and this is the half of the face, okay? You're gonna remove, that's where the, the nose is. You're gonna remove the, this is the forehead. And, and then you add, because we explained this area is a point. Now, you can see that if I remove a little bit, from the side, just a little bit. here for, for the cheek, cheekbone, Sh shadow here, and 
and add it. Sometimes you just correct things when, when they go wrong. The nostril here, lips, but again, you can make this softer, this transition not hard. So you just tap it. And you add the highlight here and the highlight here. And of course there's highlights here. darken this area a little bit because again it doesn't receive any light so you can see here we're just with the shadow that we we can create those forms okay so we'll catch light of course there's a, a highlight in the eye Uh, this area here catches light because it's higher around but uh, what we try to achieve here is the nose you can adjust it darker shadow here so this is a very simple simple stuff here to uh, to achieve So I hope that was uh, useful for you. Uh, please practice on using this vine charcoal and just using the light and shadow method as we explained here too. And that will simplify it for you and will create a better form. If the area is a flat, try to avoid it. Avoid source pictures like that. So just find one with the good shadows so you can uh, achieve a better drawing and more realistic. Thank you so much, and I will see you next video.